Walcott uh, adopted age grade rugby about five years ago. So we can see the tangible benefits that have come from following age grade rugby. The codes of practice have been adopted extensively and it basically means that the children come first and because we're always focused on the needs of the child, then we get better results from these children. Last season, in my under 12s, we had one child who was voted by his peers as, by a landslide, the best player in the team. But 18 months previously, he'd been virtually in tears at the start of every season. Now, because we've maintained with the child and worked with the child and looked at his potential, Bye. it then came to fruition 18 months later. The thing I've learned is the kids always go out to win. It's down to the coaches to be development focused. So we're not really worried about the result when we're 10 or 12. We're just looking where they're going to be when they're approaching adulthood. But they're still with us, with the club, still with rugby, and they're the best player they can be.